Welcome back everybody. So we are about 2,500 blocks west of where we were in the last episode. And this is about as far west as I uh, have gone on the mainland here. And the only thing farther west would be the Salvation Island, but the only way to get there is either through boat or through the nether. And there is no nether over here, no nether portal, so I may have to build one. Not here, but there's a bigger city over there we need to look at. And I thought I had another portal there, but I didn't. So I had to walk the uh, 2,500 blocks, which is a long ways. Anyhow, this is what I call Overlook Bay. And it's quite a unique landscape. I do like it when micro, you know, Minecraft does this. It's kind of neat. Got this big bay here. It's got the new uh, kelp and stuff. But I don't remember regenerating any of this. I thought all this was old, old stuff. Unless the kelp will regenerate if I haven't uh, visited in a while. But nevertheless, we've got a nice little bay here. We've got these little towers and hills and mountains. And these craggy mountains go all the way over that way. And then I've got this uh, kind of a, like a little resort or just a little house here. Or a couple of, you know, chairs to sit here and look out over the bay and enjoy your little drink. And then a very simple interior here with their crafting tables and furnaces with food in them and a bed. We've got more furnaces here. I notice I've got a lot of uh, gold, not gold, I mean a lot of uh, iron. I'm not quite sure where all that came from. Looks like I even got some more in the furnace here. I have another, I got another one on that side, some gold. Because I don't remember a mining area around here. So we'll go outside and take a look. I used a lot of logs. I think I was going for a log cabin look. This was, uh, this was built a long time ago. I mean, it was after we got the diorite and granite and stuff, but I sort of built it and forgot it. So we have a path going this way over to another horse. So I got a horse just sitting out here. No name or anything. Can I write him? I can write him. There we go. So this is about as far as the path goes. And then it stops. And then I believe there are torches. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah, I see the torches over there. Torches over there. We'll put him back. So I do need to finish this road at some point. But I will do all of that off camera. I'm not even going to show you pictures of it. But if we head this way, which is heading back east. I did put some tiny little trees here. So I'm going to head this way for a little bit. And we'll catch up with you at uh, a mining facility I have over here. Well, I ran across something that I didn't notice on my way over here because I think I was a little farther north. But look at that. That has to be like the biggest iceberg I have ever seen. Oh, and a 
Is that a boat? Yeah, it looks like a boat. So we have a boat crashed on its side over here. With just a shirt in it. I don't think there'll be anything else. Because it looks like the back half is gone. We got one chest there. I don't know if there'd be a chest up here. Nah, I don't think so. So the wrecked ship was already looted, I guess. But look at that! That is huge! I mean, there's a few... Oh, wow! There's another ice mountain over there. There's like... Yeah, these are like... Ice mountains. I don't think more more than icebergs, but well, yeah, they go down way down here. Look at that! That is a lot of ice. Well, it's even got a bunch of the blue ice. Let's see if I can get up on top of it. I'm just curious to see what's on the other side. Oh, there's another boat look shipwreck over there, another boat over there, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Um we have polar bears. We have a lot of polar bears, let's see. One, two, three, four. What kind of We are a frozen ocean. I do not think I've seen one of these before, because look at all those gigantic gigantic icebergs okay get ready to run okay there's a polar bear there there's one with a baby and from past experience they were quite hostile and quite Dangerous. I uh, guess that's nothing. I thought maybe that was some kind of structure. But let's uh, put a bed down. Actually, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any hostile mobs in here except for uh, the bears, and I'm not sure how hostile they are. I'm going to get ready to run if they come and attack me. You stay over there, guys. Because I'm not sure if they only attack when the baby is around. Yeah, those guys didn't seem too bad. Oh, wow. This is a full boat. Look at that. Masks and everything. Look at that! Wow! Now that's something. Look at this, uh, piles of snow on top of it. Okay, let's go see what we've got in our chest down here. Got emeralds and iron. I'm going to leave those for now. Just because I've got, being rich, I've got plenty of uh, stuff. Okay, Whew. get some air. Let's just give this a second. There we go. Map and paper. And then this one. Bunch of carrots and food. Okay. Now this is, oh, ah. Uh. Hey, yeah, 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 I did not, uh, where'd he go? Oh, he's underwater. A zombie villager? What is a zombie? Am I, maybe he was part of the crew? 
We got zombified. That's all I can think of. Where's my bow? And I'm just asking for my bow because I see one of those guys. Okay, I think he's safe. So that must have been one of the crew. So I bet that boat hit the iceberg and sank. Look at that. It goes on. This this biome goes on forever. I know I'm rambling a bit here, but I think that's kind of cool. Okay, enough of this. I am going to get some sleep and then uh, join up with you at the mining town. Or mining. The mine. So here we are at the mine. Uh, about 500 blocks in that direction is uh, the Overlook Bay. Now, following that little torch line, that way gets us to the beach where you can actually see the icebergs and stuff. And um, I need to put a road out that way and then put some docks over there. And then if I follow this, this direction, it will take us over back to this, the museum uh, desert city where we were just at. And then this road heads over to the monastery. So it heads down and up and around over that way. But right now we're going to go down there. So for my uh, unfinished business world tour, I'm going to have to build some roads. But those are not something that you really want to see. I try to do my best to make them as exciting as possible or not as boring as it could be. But I think I've shown you more than enough roads being built so far. So this is a big cave structure. And I think you saw the sign that says spawner. So I did find the spawner in here, but this is a... Uh, I was using this for the mine, resource mine. And just happened to run across a spawner. So that goes down. Do I can go this way? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that arrow is pointing back behind me. Over this way. Because. Well, not much there. This thing's a big maze. I've got a little work area here with just uh, normal chests and stuff. Got a furnace room. What? I have a portal. I do have a portal. Interesting. I couldn't find the portal before. So I'm going to take a look and see where that goes. Okay, so this goes down. Oh, there's a mine shaft. I forgot about that. This goes down into the mine shaft. Uh, I guess this. Let's go across this way. Uh, I can get out. I'm always good at putting out signs. Oh, there we go. Spawner is this way. Spawner. Well, there's the center of the mine shaft. Because the center is always one of these dirt rooms. And then it goes out in all these different areas. So I've got a spawner. Out. Up here must be. Oh, there we go. There's a spawner. Right there. It looks like that's a skeleton spawner. What do we have over here? Oh, just... Oh, the water elevator, which does not work. I think I'm going to have to fix that. Okay. Well, I'll just... Hmm. I'll fix it at a later date. Because uh, I'm not really using this for uh, anything. 
It's been a long time since I've been here, so. Oh, I can go out that way and spawn her. Oh, this all goes wrapped around, okay. Oh, and then, yeah, I got storage area here. Some chests. Arrows. So it was working pretty good at one point. You know, to have that much uh, bone and arrows. Oh, so everything, they used to fall here, I'd kill them. And then they could be collected in the chest. Right now, I've got a water issue. So, because the water elevator does not work. Because it's using the old mechanics. So, someday if I ever want this to work, I'm going to have to go and fix... Uh, let's go this one. No, it must go down. Honor out. I almost got lost. So someday, if I ever want to have this working again, I will have to come back and fix the water elevator. But I'm going to leave it for now. Just know that it's broken. But I am curious to see where this goes. Because I forgot this was even here, and I couldn't even find it when I was in the nether just a little while ago. Holy moly, this is like... This is exposed. Where's this go to? So this is definitely unfinished. So unfinished, I forgot all about it. So I'm going to have to get some glass and finish this. Yeah, it just sort of sits out there in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, you're coming for me, aren't you? I'm just trying to see. I have no idea where I'm at in relation to anything else. So it'd have to be east. Oh! Oh, brother. Two of them. Where are you at? This is why having these open things are so dangerous. He kind of renders and disappears, renders and disappears. Yeah, he's hovering right above my portal. So we are going to run for it and get out of here. And then make a plan. I've got to get a lot of glass and stuff so I can make a plan to come back and um, finish this. Oh, my arrow. Okay, so we have a portal here, but it's not connected to anything else. So I'm going to need to reconnect all that stuff up. Holy cow. So that is definitely unfinished business I'm going to have to deal with. But for now, 
Oh, is it daytime or nighttime? Let's see if it's nighttime. I'm going to get some sleep and then we're going to, yeah, it's nighttime. So let me grab um, a bit of sleep real quick. And then we're going to head over to the monastery. So heading along this path, well, that's kind of weird doesn't really join up. I almost need to get rid of these. There. Oops. Get rid of those and just kind of join the path. So far I have a lot of road to build all the way over from Overlook Bay all the way back over to the desert city and I also have a uh, portal to finish covering up and uh, build the track back to I guess it would be the city over there the, the museum so this is the monastery area. Basically, this is where the animals are. So we got our multicolored sheep. We got some piggies here. We got some cows, and I think that's it. Yeah, cows, and then a little bit of a pumpkin farm. So the whole thing is surrounded by this uh, wall, and it only gave me the monastery look because there were a lot of clerics in here, and I have these little cloister covered walkways which I've seen in monasteries so it kind of goes around the whole place so the whole uh, area is surrounded by this pleasant little walkway I've got the I can look out and see what's going on out there I've got this kind of cobblestone and fence roof or ceiling on here kind of almost like a like an arbor on top of there I think that's what it's called and then you have these little arches built into the whole thing so like that so we can go all the way around and we'll get back to this back part here and then we have the back door here which goes out to nowhere really and I've got another door on this other side I'm over on this other side over here which goes nowhere there's no roads out so I've added houses I think all of these are furnished if I remember right yep Carpeted. I like it. got a lot of these clerics. It's like this one's pretty nice. Couple doors, table. It's kind of like their little meet eat, meet and greet eat room here. Oh, one of my dogs. Okay. Oh, I got. Boy, I got three dogs over here. We got a library where they can study so I think I've been in that one so shut that down a lot of sleeping quarters for them a little room there got a lot of these uh, flower beds and stuff or vegetable gardens I guess they are I think the last time we were here was right after the update where they added colored beds. Well, like I said, I've got this entrance here, which also does not go anywhere. There's no road or anything from here. So, so I can always add that at a future date if I want to put more buildings and stuff around here. Yeah, another dog. I got dogs all over the place here. Well, that's kind of like my little workroom, I guess. 
Oh, tons of junk. More miscellaneous junk. A lot of wool. Some glass, a lot of stone. Not bad. I should be able to use this, uh, all this for uh, finishing the roads at least. And I got all the stuff at the mine shaft we were just at. So Got a lot of food in here and a lot of dogs. It's like number five, I think. Another little house here. Kind of a bunk sleeping quarters there. More clerics. Told you there's a lot of clerics here. That's why I call it the monastery. Miscellaneous junk. Lots of miscellaneous junk chests I've not cleaned up. A golem. I don't remember having him. Look, one, two, three, four, got four clerics just within sight here. Five, six, There's, and I've got three iron golems. Wow. Look, seven. One of you came in here, but I think I got... S That's at least... I'm thinking at least seven clerics. So now you know why I call it the uh, monastery. And why it inspired me to, you know, put the little... The different architecture, the, the wall around it, which I... I Think, I think it came out really nice. I like the way this wall goes here with the spruce top on it with the, you know using the fences and the stairs and then I love this arch for all these. So even if I say so myself I think it came out really nice. And then the centerpiece here is this church which also came out nice. So I used the, uh, I think that's the andesite there, but then mixed it in with the uh, bricks. Got some cracked ones and normal bricks, which I think sets it apart really nice with the cobblestone base. And then the roof, I think, came out really nice with, you know, mix of the wood, got the spruce, and then actually got some stone in there too. All right. Not sure what happened, but it came out, I think, you know, came out really good with the good use of mix of, mix of materials. I've got a lot of uh, depth in here and uh, things sticking out where they need to be and not sticking out where they don't need to be. I mean, even on the front here, kind of got this mix of this polished with the, the bricks and stuff. Then you come in here, so this will be the entryway, which came out pretty good here. And then you come into the church proper, got the little zombie, stained glass zombie up there, which uh, I'm happy with. And then the roof, I think, came out really nice, and, you know, being so tall gives you that... Uh, you know, like you see in churches where you come in there and it's just like really tall and kind of long and narrow. And you got a few pews here and there. And then you come up here and you got your uh, pulpit where you can stand here and do your preaching. I do have a block missing over here. Uh, I don't have one on me, but I think I need to put a block right there. And then we got uh, the zombie. The green, the blue, the blue, you know. So that is, uh, I think that's it for the thing. This is, uh, I think this uh, church is a good highlight for it. So I do like this. There's not really anything unfinished except for that one block I need to replace or finish putting in. So maybe I can grab 
a block there. I think this is a uh, one of my complete and uh, actually better builds, I think. Oh, why won't that? There we go. So I'm really happy and pleased with this. Especially this building. I think it came out really nice. But they got the stained glass and the... I pulled the same colors from the zombie that I did for the stained glass. Oh, and it really stands out at night. Wow. During the day it was kind of washed out, but once you get in here at night, you can really see that guy. Well, that is it for this leg of the world tour. Like I said, I do need to do, you know, some completion on some unfinished projects, which is the road, which goes from the uh, bay over to the city. And that's going to take a while, uh, so I'm not sure when that's going to get done. And then just uh, some extra roads through here, and I'm yeah, torn between fixing that spawner and not. I don't think I'm, eh, I mean, if I got time, I'll fix the spawner. I'll, 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 if not, I'll just leave it on my uh, future to-do list. But I did say I was going to finish up all unfinished projects. And I guess that... Well, I'm not sure that's not really an unfinished project. So, so the two projects I'm going to do is a road on the overworld here. And, oh, and the nether. i got to fix the nether road. So I can connect the city up with the z spawner over here. Which means I probably need to fix the spawner so it's working. Well, that answers that. So I will do that. That'll be off camera. Uh, no one really needs to watch that. Um, but anyhow, I thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, got something out of this episode. I hope you come back for the next one. We will be heading over past the Museum City and on to the Savannah Village. So I'll give you one tour of the Savannah Village, and then we can start on a couple new projects I have planned for that. And actually, I have a couple projects uh, at Spawn. I'm not going to tell you what those are yet. But those will be on a couple episodes from now. Something I've been wanting to do or needing to do for a while, and something that I must get done before the new up date comes out for Minecraft because it changes uh, the way the game actually works and I need to take advantage of the way it currently works before I have to figure out how the new game will work in the new version. So, Until then, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, have a great afternoon. I will see you all later. Bye bye.